Hi, I'm Ira Guevara at Yo Floreo. That means I blossom. That's Y-O-F-L-O-R-E-O. -E I'm a journalist, a writer, a yoga teacher, aromatherapy practitioner, Yo Floreo trainer and creator. We have been working with all these disciplines for almost two decades. And uh, we are noticing something of concern right now, which is about the use of masks, um, mandatory uh, by you know the local authorities uh, to enter into certain establishments. And when you work in a supermarket, in a restaurant or any facility, and also as a customer when you go to one of these places. If you are having to use the mask all day long for several hours because you are um, a worker of this type and needs to be tending to public or interacting with other workers, it is very important that you know that the oxygen level uh, when you put a dispositive in front of your face, uh, covering your mouth and covering your nose to avoid the little droplets of your saliva to spread out when you talk, when you breathe, you're also obstructing the, um, the free flow of air, which carries oxygen and also CO2. So, as you are using the mask for several hours, you are restricting your intake of oxygen. At which level? It all depends. It depends on the respiratory capacity of the person. It depends on the um, uh, 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 availability of air in the area. If there is, you know, flow of air, if there is enough ventilation, air conditioning, working well, if it's enclosed in a small place or it's open more. So it all depends, but definitely the uh, oxygen intake is going to be reduced. So the percentage will vary. But if you are in this situation, and many of us are, it is important that you compensate, that you balance by using the tool that you have, which is your own breath. So if you have a chance to take a break that you might have and um, take time off in between, try to go to an open air area or an area where you can take your mask off and it's safe and practice the deep breathing, the full yogi breath. If you don't need to uh, wear the mask, don't wear it. If you're walking on the street, especially people of older age, we see them walking on the street with a mask on. If you are not in a facility or in a place that requires 100% of usage of the mask, don't wear the mask so you can breathe freely. In order to practice the full yogi breath of the deep breathing, you can stand, you can sit, you can do it any time of the day. And what you do is that you breathe through the nose, you inhale through the nose and you exhale through the nose. And this is how you start, inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the nose. And then you begin to regulate that breathing, counting mentally, maybe until four as you inhale, counting mentally till four as you exhale. And then you can place one hand on top of your upper chest and the other hand on the lower abdomen. And when you inhale through the nose, you begin to feel the abdomen first, then the rib cage, and then all the way up to your chest. And as you exhale through the nose, you empty the chest and the rib cage, and then you squeeze the abdomen in. I'm gonna do it on profile so you can see. Inhaling, expanding abdomen, Rib cage and chest. Exhaling, empty chest, rib cage, and then squeezing abdomen in. As you are practicing this breathing exercise, you count mentally 
and then you begin to increase the count. So you take a longer time with that inhalation and you take a longer time with that exhalation. So you can count to five, inhaling, till five as you exhale, then till six, maybe seven, up to eight. It doesn't matter, respect your body. If you are able to do it till four, that's fine. Till five, six, fantastic. Till eight, magnificent. It doesn't matter. Just try to increase it and to regulate your breath. How many times? You can do up to 20, 21. You can do two, three minutes, five minutes of deep breathing. This is really gonna help you increase your oxygen levels and balance out. You can practice this any time of the day. By squeezing the abdomen in last here, this movement, you are really working with your diaphragm. That's the main muscle for respiration. And you're also using all the respiratory muscles that are aiding. And you are working on the largest part of the lungs to squeeze all that air out, all the CO2 out, so the alveoli, which are the little air sacs in our lungs, can be free from the CO2 and be open to receive fresh oxygen. Thank you for listening to this and please share it if you find it useful. Have a great day.